So what is going on everyone, Fernando Silva here with another video and Apple actually just released 14.5.1 for iPads and iOS devices all around for the entire public. So what I wanted to do was just kind of show you the one fix that they did, which is supposed to help out from a privacy perspective. So it's gonna be a quick video, let's get right into it. So let's get right into this quick review. So if I go into my images, I did take a screenshot of exactly how big it was. So we're looking at about 123 megabytes, right? Again, this is the 11 inch iPad Pro. It's probably a little bit different for the 12.9 inch, but 123 megabytes, that means we're not gonna get too much, right? Normally, if it's a big update, we're gonna see in the gigabytes. But again, give yourself about 250 megabytes of space in order to update that. So that's 123 gigabytes for this, again, bug fix update. And the only thing that Apple changed up, but before we get into that, let's go into the settings. Let's go to the build number real quick. So if we go to general, we'll go to about, we'll hit right here. So we're on 18E212. So again, this is not a beta program. This is a public release. So anybody that's on an iOS device or iPad OS device can update to this. But the main reason Apple pushed this update is because with 14.5, we were supposed to get that new privacy tracking feature and Apple's been teasing it for a while through all the beta programs and things like that, but it wasn't working. And for a lot of people, when you went into your privacy settings, went to tracking, this was all grayed out. And I was one of those people on this iPad Pro over here that runs the beta program. Now it's on 14.6, but again, it took a while before that privacy feature on this iPad actually came to light. So now you have the ability to toggle this off and on. Now, some people with the regular 14.5 edition should be able to do this, but I do believe that a lot of people didn't, and that's why Apple pushed this one so quickly. So all this is, is basically it gives the power of data back to the user. So it makes applications ask you beforehand. So once you open it, it'll say, hey, this app does this, this, and this in terms of tracking. Do you want to allow that to happen? This is the toggle that allows for that request to happen. If you leave this off, then apps will not ask you if you can track the data. If you turn it on, at least let the apps ask you so you're aware of who's tracking and what they're tracking exactly. But again, that's really the only update in terms of features or anything like that. It's going to be a bug fix update. When you go with a 14.5.x up, it's all going to be bug fixes and enhancements to make sure you get the best performance possible. But let's get out of this view and go to the normal view. So as you saw, that's pretty much it. Again, I have an iPad Pro 2018 11 inch, which I run on the normal software update cadence. So there's no beta program on there. There's no public beta program. That just gets the normal updates that everybody else gets. So that's the one that I used to test out, I guess, the normal stuff, right? So 14.5.1, all it did was help out with that privacy feature, the privacy tracking, which is going to help you, again, from a privacy perspective and give that power of data back to the user. So I recommend to actually pull off the update because anything that involves privacy for me is always a plus, right? I always update it, especially if it's just privacy settings, right? If it's a privacy thing, I always update no matter what. If it's some features that I don't really need or want, then I won't update right away. But again, privacy is so big, especially now with AirTags out in the world, and then making sure that you know our personal data is safe and not being sold out. So all in all, a, a good, fast, quick update from Apple just to make sure our privacy settings are good to go. But that's gonna do it for this video. Leave a comment below. Did you guys update? Are you waiting for iPadOS 15 or iOS 15 at WWDC a month from now? You know, time will tell what we're going to get with those updates, but I'm hoping that it's big, especially for the iPad. But that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time.